Hi, I'm Carl Bergwort from Pedaling History Bicycle Museum in Orchard Park, New York. Here in Orchard Park, we have put together a museum that tells the story of the bicycle from its introduction in America to the mountain bike. Right behind me are some from the 1880s. These are some of the first bicycles with chain and sprocket. In reality, the bicycle hasn't changed an awful lot. We've added a diamond frame and an air-filled tire and now put knobby tires on it and made mountain bikes. This story is an incredible story of man's transportation from the horse to the airplane. When one thinks of an old bicycle, they often think of the ordinary. A lot of people call them penny farthings, but that's kind of a slang name and we kind of like to call it the right thing, and that's the ordinary. The first efficient bicycle, and this is the one that really started to change the world of transportation. That big wheel was no coincidence. It was your gearing. There's no chain and sprocket on this bike, and that's why they needed a big wheel to make it efficient. This is the first bicycle that was made with pedals. It had pedals attached to the front wheel, and that patent was an American patent from the U.S. Patent Office. Notice this also has some of the first suspension wheels with wire spokes and even rubber tires. The ones before it had steel tires and they really rattled, henceforth the name Bone Shaker that the public applied to this bicycle. This neat little child's or youth's tricycle was made right in Buffalo, New York, right up on Linwood Avenue in the backyard of where the Millard Fillmore Hospital is today. It's a wonderful treasure of old Buffalo's bicycling history. Riding one of these ordinaries could be a real dangerous experience. And that's basically why the safety bicycle was invented. Of course, every visitor to the museum has the opportunity to climb aboard and have their picture taken on a bicycle of the 1880s. This ordinary is here for that purpose. And of course, it's not limited to bicycles on the land because above us here is one that was used on the water, a marine bicycle made in 1881 in New Hampshire. And ladies, you aren't forgotten there's plenty of bicycle things to decorate your parlor or living room with, then or now. Some of our favorite treasures are bicycles that are made in Buffalo or Western New York. This Made of the Mist bicycle was made by the Buffalo Wheel Company up on Main Street uh, near Jewett Parkway. And above it is the original owner's picture when it was brand new in 1893. A few years later, this child's bicycle exhibited down below was made on Broadway by the Globe Bicycle Company, and it was made by the owner of that company for his two and a half year old son who was billed around the world as the youngest bicycle rider in the world. The blacksmith in the 1890s was the victim of the technology change from the horse to the bicycle. He had to give up his business and become a bicycle mechanic. And that story is epitomized in what we show in this bicycle shop conversion. In 1896, when this piece of linen was printed, they were playing pin the lady on the tandem, not pin the tail on the donkey. Many of the inventions for the bicycle changed the world of transportation. This chainless bicycle with a drive shaft didn't work out for the bicycle, but it changed the world for the car, and there's one of those in every car made today. On this bicycle also is a camera, because George Eastman was a bicyclist, and he took care of his bicycling friends by making cameras that were easy to use on a bicycle. How about this? One of the first generators used on a bicycle back in 1917. Almost since the beginning of the bicycle, 
the, the armies used bicycles for moving troops. It was transportation. And in 1895, they even proposed using it as gun mounts for, for machine guns. The cavalry was converted from horses to bicycles. We can't forget all those bicycles from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s. We had done everything else with a bicycle for transportation, but now it was time for kids to have fun with it. And they had the motorcycle look with tanks and horns and lights and racks they could carry their friend with, even stoplights that worked when they hit the brakes. There were all aluminum bikes. There were Donald Duck bikes and Hopalong Cassidy bikes, bikes with any flavor you wanted. In 1955 and 1956, Huffy produced a bicycle with a radio in it. It was the boombox on wheels, and it was envied by everyone. A year later, the transistor came out, and people forgot about it quickly because they carried their radio in their pocket. In 1960, we had a Corvette with a fiberglass body, and the bicycle industry responded with the Bowden Space Lander, a futuristic bicycle that was made out of fiberglass. Only 535 of them were ever made, and only a handful of them still exist today. And of course, shortly after that came the lemon peeler and the apple pe crate and the lem orange crate. They were bicycles with the banana seats and the high-rise handlebar, the bicycles of the kids. Later, that went on to be BMX and all the trick bikes they're using today. In 1901, Buffalo held the Pan American Exposition. And it was here that they had a bicycle police force showcasing the Buffalo-made bicycles by the Pierce Company, the forerunner of the Pierce Aero Automobile. This exposition had bicycle races, where bicycle racers came from around the world and the greatest champions raced there. I hope you've enjoyed our brief tour of Pedaling History Bicycle Museum. Once again, we are the largest all-bicycle museum in the world. Check us out on the web, www.pedalinghistory.com, and come visit us at 3943 North Buffalo Road in Orchard Park. Come see us sometime. You'll be glad you did. Keep pedaling till then.